me about you? You. What about you? No. Too gay. And you? What about you? No, that's not it. And you? What about you? And you? What about you? No, too Welsh. <sighs> okay, so... A friend should always underestimate your virtue. And an enemy always overestimate your fault. No, too gangstery. The best way of spreading Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. No, too racist. Oh, come on, Pete. What does Mrs. Spagent say? The world is your oyster. When it opens for you, you must take everything it offers. Well, world, bring it on. I'm just unsure about how to go about things. I'm not the most confident of people, as you know. Your father was the same, David. But that does not mean that you continue the family tradition. I understand that. It's just making such a huge life decision. I'm not sure I'm up to it. God sometimes has ways of testing us like this. That's the other thing. It's put into question my faith. Don't you feel that's a test in itself? I see. I'm just not sure I'm equipped to take all this on just yet. I'm not trying to get you into the religion of faith, David. That's your choice. I am more like a conduit for the information you possibly need to unravel the code. Yes. You can call it what you want. Many faiths do. But perhaps what you're looking for is reassurance. Perhaps that's true. Interesting word, that, perhaps. Comes from the original perchance. 1500s, I think, used to show that something is possible or that you're not certain about something, which... I'm certainly not certain about. Not certain about the meaning or your current dilemma? The latter. Ah, right. Well, maybe. Maybe. Look, David, I don't know. In life, one thing is certain, in that we can merely cast our bread out onto the waters. Yes. These tests in life really help us define ourselves. Not to anyone else, really, but to ourselves. Oh, and to God. I wondered when he'd show up again. He's always there. It's kind of disconcerting, don't you think? That someone's always there watching. It's enough to make anybody lose confidence and get a little anxious. All God asks for is for you to do your best in what you feel is right. How can I be certain? You feel it. How? You instinctively know when you're on the right path. Is that part of the test too? What do you feel? I'm not sure this was the right thing to do, John. Mother, father, Lucy, all of them. We left them there. There was nothing we could do, Master Tom. Those men were bitten by the dog of war. They didn't care who they were hurting. We could have fought them. Aye, and died while doing so. I had made your father a promise, and I keep my promises. He's, he's dead. Aye, he's gone. They're all gone. I didn't know what to do. I hid like an animal. And like an animal, you did right, Master Tom. An animal is instinctual. And when they have the knowing of the end, they hide or give in to the end. You did right. I don't feel it. Well, right now your feelings will be mixed up from the fear and flight. It's near often we use these senses anymore. I hunger for them. I spent too long on the plough and tending the livestock. So, so what now? Where do we go? Well, not back, that's for certain. East is beckoning. And the word is, Cromwell is making a new soldier. What type of soldier? A new army, trained and paid and fed well. What will become of me? Well, like I said, I'm a man of my promise. You, Master Tom, are coming with me. I am told, as well as dragoons and infantry, Fairfax is in search of good horsemen. You are by far the swiftest rider I have ever seen. 
and I'll be the best God-fearing Puritan on a horse you ever did see. I'll be her best. We'll see. Hi, Master Tom. You'll be the fastest. No royal will catch you. You'll fly like the wind. Like the wind. Aye. Aye, faster, I bet. <laughs> <laughs>